back from Bicton, which was a good week, a slightly mixed week, and a fantastic event. Full credit to Helen West and her team for um, putting on a great show and an event that I'm sure will um, continue um, with a lot of success, I hope, to step in and replace Bramham, which had plenty of similarities. Um, a really tough, good cross-country day, tough course, and it um, really took some riding. And I think it's the first time in a long time that we've walked something and all really stood back and really took note and knew that we had to ride you know, definitely as best as we could some serious questions um i would have said a very strong four star four and a half star um and some you know really serious questions and they took some a lot of thought with the riding um for me it it was a good week in the way my Brookfield Instant Horse went really well. Um, I was delighted with him. A solid dressage test and very annoyingly the back bar of jump number one in the show jumping. Um, which again I always, um, he can be a spooky horse when he first goes in to a ring. Always has been, I think always will be. And I always go near and round jump number one. Um, when I got up to my warm up and saw the time was very tight and you could only watch one go before you, there was a line that I hadn't really catered for on my course walk. And so getting in there quickly and the bell already got going, I went over to see where I could save the time while I was in there. And it's always something that is, um, he can be a little bit spooky. Just clip the back bar of number one to then jump a, a fantastic round and was with the time being tight a good six seconds inside the time so um you know just one of those things um but he felt fab and was brilliant across country to run you know easing off at the end 12 seconds inside the time and he's really fast and so it was great to actually have something as tough as that um back to really ride at and he felt as good as i hoped so that was great a good solid result there and um i had vani kamira who we've picked up put down for the last 18 months and weren't really knowing what to do this year and bless her after after burner market she went home for a few weeks or so to think we'll work towards Burley. Then Burley didn't happen. We got her back in to think maybe we'll give Lemoulin a go, but is that going ahead? Is it not? So Bicton was really sort of a last, last minute thought for us. And um, she was pretty wound up. She was at Houghton being there. So she had a good bit of work, you know, between to try and get her right mentally for Bicton, which she really did. Um, she did. She came good. She did a, a sweet dressage, as good as as good as she could do, in amongst the top few, and bombed around the cross country. I mean, gosh, she is. You know, you you remind yourself of those great little cross country horses, what they're put on this planet for, and actually having a really serious track and something to get stuck into. Um, remind you just you know she's absolutely brilliant and such a little tiger and that's been what has what has achieved all her things and so very proud of her um, and how she does it is superb but it it wasn't to be on the Sunday um, which is sad for her it wasn't sad a lot of people came up to me and said oh no I'm so sorry I'm not at all you know this little horse owes me absolutely nothing all our connections owners trevor dickens yes it's sad on the last day to go and have a few rails down when you're up there she's 16 years old this was a last minute thought of, of getting here and she jumped a pretty, exactly the same rounds as she normally jumps you know she's not um she never gives anything any height um she's always you know 
flat at her fences and just does enough. And most of the time, just does enough of knowing how to hit them. <laughs> and they stay up. And this time, being, you know, jumping poles and light and um, a hot day and probably a little bit tired. You know, she's 16 years old now as well. And just didn't jump a bad round, but rolled a few. Um, and so that was the end of that. But like I said, there's no disappointment. She gets a pat. She gets comes out for another day. Hopefully what that is, I don't know. Um, but she's come out of it sound. She felt sound in her mind. And she's had a good outing and we all really enjoyed her. Like you should, these fab horses on the, on the Saturday and it still gives you all the buzz and excitement. Um, and like I said, she owes us nothing. And so obviously we dropped a few places having been second after the cross country. Um, but we were also in a class amongst a lot of very lovely up and coming horses um, that um, Nicola Wilson, who won the class on Dublin, went absolutely fantastically. So that was very exciting for her and also Roz on her lovely young horse. You know, watching all those young horses jump on the on the final, you know, the top 10, there's some really, really very exciting up and coming ones that sort of balloon their, <laughs> balloon their fences and give a lot of air. And Vinia Kamira has never been one of those, but she is a fast runner and a hungry little fighter that um, is a badminton and burley specialist. So um, she will hopefully have another day that she can come back for um, but she's come out of it very well so that was very pleasing and then I didn't run a young horse um, which was in our minds before we went we wanted a, a nicer uh, a, a four star for him being his first one long he's more of a flat horse and still a little bit inexperienced of where he is and so my owners and I we just had a good chat which they were absolutely brilliant about and totally understanding, which does make all our jobs so much easier having a, a team to work with like like that to say, let's just save him for another day when we think that is the event that we want to get going with him at that level. Um, Brookfield Quality did a lovely test, one of his best tests that he's done. Um, I was absolutely delighted with him, very excited. Um, but to run up and down the hills and be as strong a track as that is on his first one, we thought wasn't right. So we're just going to save him for when the day is right. And that's where I'm lucky to have the support that I have and a team that I can work with like we do to understand that is the best thing for the horse. So that was that week. Well done. Well done, Bicton. Well done, everybody. Um, what happens now? Goodness knows. Um, I suppose we all sit there and wait for Olympic selection of whatever they do there. Gosh, I wouldn't want to be um, a selector, to be honest, at the minute. I think there is there are so many good, solid rider, horse rider combinations out there that all, all could go, all should go, all deserve to go. And, you know, it's just going to be very tricky to come to decide on who are the three or the four that it is. So we all wait in anticipation, but it was a great competition. Um, everyone in that category performed really well. I was delighted with my boy and I know everyone in the up for grabs were, you know, gave a good strong performance as well. So who knows? And we will we will wait and see to then see what the plan for the second half of the season's gonna be. Anyway, till then, bye bye.